Yo guys, it's Hives from Hotshots. Basically, I'm just going to give you a quick tutorial today on how to get the matte look up on your uh, photos that you've taken. Um, basically, take it from this as it is now to this. So, we'll get straight into it. <clears throat> Firstly, uh, image here is just a bit overexposed at the moment, the sky's a bit blown out. So what we're going to do is just bring the exposure down to about one stop. You might edit it later on. Contrast we're going to leave with for the time being, we'll get into that when we get into the tone curve. Sky is very blown out, two ways of doing it. You can either bring the highlights all the way down, or if you go down to the HSL slider, uh, go to the blue luminance can bring that down, sometimes it can bring, depending on how bright the sky is etc, you can bring the clouds back into the photo but just be careful because you're taking the blue, uh, darkening the blues in the photo but if there's any blue within the area you, you're concentrating on it will take the blue out of. Um, let's go back up, up to the top. Uh, highlights, like I said before, we're going to bring them down, to get the sky back. Shadows, bring them down a bit. This is all personal preference. Bring the whites up. Blacks, we want a nice moody look going in the photo. Just emphasize the detail going on within the car. Uh, texture, let's bring that up slightly. Plus 25, we want to get the detail in the bottom of, uh, of the shot here with the grass. Right, cool. Going on to the tone curve, I like to split it into sections. So this line, this grid line here going here, so that's 25%, 50%, 75%. I like to put a dot on each. So basically what you're going to do with the tone curve for the matte look is make an S. So imagine this is your center point, that's the top of your S and you're bringing it down. So if you bring the top top of the, uh, the point, uh, uh, tone curve down slightly. Lift the highlights up a bit. This is your mid-tones, you want to leave that. Let's bring that the shadows down. As you can tell already, it's looking a lot better. Right, to get the matte look, like the waxed effect over the top of the photo, what you want to do is grab your bottom in your tone curve, and you want to bring it up. So you see it brings a, a waxed effect over the top of the photo. You want a more lighter effect, you can bring it in. I'm quite happy with it there. Um, now the photo is nice and dark and moody. Uh, the vibrance of the car is very bright. What I want to do is bring the vibrance back into the grass. So we're going to bring the saturation up just a touch. Bring the vibrance up a bit. But what this is doing now is it's turning the oranges into a deeper orange, which we don't want. So what we're going to do down here is back to the HSL slider, saturation. Uh, sorry, the hue, we want to bring the yellows from the orangey colour, bring it back up to the yellow, yellows, get the yellow back into the car. Uh, with the greens as well, we want to bring them up a bit, get it nice and, nice and green. We can even dark, darken the green if you want to lighten them. Uh, what else you can do with the photo? Uh, if you want the main emphasis of the photo up on the car, you can add something vignetting. So you can bring the vignetting slider down, just adds a bit more. A bit more like focal point on the center of the image darkens the outside of the image, brings your eye more onto the start, uh, onto the main focus of the image, which is the car. What I'm going to do is go back up to the tone curve. I think it's a bit too dark, so I'm just going to bring the shadows back up a bit.
going back to the contrast like we said we'd, we'd edit after the uh, the tone curve just bring that down a touch minus 15 there and then what we want to do is we, we with all the color editing the vignette we started to lose focus on the grass and the edges of the car so we're going to get the clarity and bring it just back up a bit to get that focus again And that's basically it guys, that's how you can add a matte, matte effect to your photos. Uh, quick before and after, overexposed, colours are alright but we've got that moody matte look going on. What we can do as well, crop the image to a, a 4x5, that's your Instagram friendly. Get the main focal point of the car in. Add that in there and obviously add your watermarking etc. And then to save, if you're doing a photo shoot, you've got multiple images from the same shoot that you want to add the same effect on to keep the Instagram flow going on. Quick tip, uh, you can either copy the settings and then if you've got more uh, more photos on your import, you can paste them just by clicking paste and it'll, it'll paste the same effects onto the photo. Or if you know you, you want to keep the same look along your photos, etc. Literally preset, create preset, automotive, map, look, so that the checkboxes, what you want to keep, etc, click create, and then you're done, like I said before, select a new image, etc, whack the preset on, straight away, and then you can edit the sliders, as just a quick tutorial today guys of uh, the mat effect on Instagram. If anyone's got any questions etc feel free to drop me a message on Instagram and I'll probably be doing more of these tutorials uh, just to help the up and coming photographers slash editors on Instagram. Uh, thanks very much guys.